much easier if you do short videos uploading and everything. So that's why I've done that. Get the hang of it. <laughs> Definitely learning the hard way there. I'm always taking pictures, of, you know, photos. And as far as videoing goes, I've never done much of this. I've done a bit of videoing for my husband really, but gosh, nothing like I've done here, the, the live videoing, nothing, I've done nothing like this. So it's all a big learning curve, but it is good fun. I'm really pleased, really pleased I'm learning so much. There is a lot to learn. Like that fence cross there like that, it's going to be a nice light bit. Wait till we get these light bits in, you're, you're going to love it. God, the thing is, I get so excited, I can't wait to get them in. And I don't want to jump ahead. I want to keep, try and keep it really simple, really easy to follow. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. If you think you can give me some pointers about what would help, um, please, please go ahead. I'm open to any suggestions whatsoever to help me, to help me make it better. I really want to do well at this. I really want to do well. Yeah, I've got to put the timer on. Okay. <laughs> so much children. I'm trying to concentrate on the drawing predominantly. And then you've got all these other little bits to do. It's, <laughs> I don't know, there's, there's quite a lot to it. I'll get used to it. The more you do it, the better you, you better get at anything really. It's just a case. Right, I want to get this black bit in just the right spot here. So I'm measuring it, but where does it come? The ends like that, just roughly. It ends like that on really the middle of that first highlight bit. So it's kind of coming like, like that really. So touch over and it goes up and it's a little triangle. and dark. This is a bit smudgy in there, but it's very dark. And then we've got another very dark bit up here. See that? That's a little bit coming around there. We've got another very dark bit there. That's smudgy. Some lines in here, some black lines. That's fine. Just pick them out. Just gives it a nice streaky, hairy look. Which, if you're a Yorkshire Terrier, you've got to have. It's all the rage. Such a sweet little. really all we can really do here. We, we can't really do much more until we get the, the lighter colour there. Uh, there's quite a good line there. There's a very thin line. so easy if you get these in. So easy. That's the dark bit there. And then there's a dark bit up here. Smudgy. And we've got a dark line there. That's the right angle. Okay. So now, 
going to just put some dark lines in here, I think. sort of hairs, they can be coming out of nowhere really. You don't have to have a root, it's just the idea of, you know, a shiny little dog really. Just that. This was someone's pet. He was someone's pet, obviously once. But if you, if you're doing this for somebody, those sort of things, those sort of touches, are really important to have. You know, it's got got to look like the animal. This line here, I can see that needs to be just a slightly different angle there. That's it. Noses are so easy to do wrong. If you get the angles wrong, they just look terrible. So really work at your, you know, you know, pay attention to when you're doing your noses. Really concentrate on it and do your best to get it right. You can't go wrong if you look, just draw what you're seeing and make sure that it, it's in the right spot. So you do a lot of measuring and stuff like that. Even if you traced it on, because if you trace it on in not the right line, if it's one line out, it can change the way the animal looks. It's like a people. If things are one line out, uh, you know, it's enough. It's enough to make it wrong. Yeah, this is quite dark in here. Just there's a dark line going across here. do is these if you can see that it's longer there and it's it, it kind of goes in his hairs are going in like an arch so what we're going to do is we're, when we put the the blonde colors on strawberry blonde um, we're going to make sure that that comes up here and then down again so we've got kind of arch I'm just going to thin that bit out there because it's getting bulky. And then these are going to be coming over like that. I think this is just looking a little bit long here. So we'll do that just to give us a, a little bit of shape there. But the final thing we'll do after. Okay, so we've got all this coming through here. We've got to put the, uh, before we can put any more black on there, I think we need to get some colour in there. But it, it's, it, it's a bit lighter, I think, isn't it? So we can't really put straight orange on there. So we can do a very, we could do a very light mixture. See if we can get a, a bit of a mixture going here. In fact, this is, this is very dark here. And then we've got, um, that's it, we've got the line. not straight it's kind of going up that angle like that and then we've got the darker bits here there's some very light bits in there too and then we've got some we'll just kind of put some streaks in there I think for now 
just kind of over that. Then see we've got this got this black line. That's that's really that's that. Then that's that really. I would say. Kind of. Now I'm looking at the space between this and this. Get that more or less right. And it comes up here. And then we've got one that way, one that one that way. And then that's coming into this really lovely strong line there. That's it. That's about right. some black hairs coming in like that. We just outline that little bit of top there, just gently. And then these go right up to it. And that's really strong. That's that's also going beautifully up here. And then we've got the tufts here which you're going to have some grey in and blonde. So we'll just leave it at that for now. Like that. Okay. Right, let's get these lines in here, I think. So we're going to stick to the orangey colour. We've got that line there. I think is probably that actually. Yeah. See we've got these little dark got these little dark marks here. I just put in very loosely really. Got, they come in a bit there really. Then um we've got the dark line. And this this is coming up to that. Um then it's kind of just look at the lines, the way the lines are going. Now this is the dark, that's the light, the light bit. Then we've got some dark areas here. Just very gently putting these in. Because they they will blend in with the lighter colours. And that'll give it some nice interest. Streaky look. Then this, we have to be a bit careful here, I think. Um, you could just put in, just very roughly. I'm looking at these tough patches of, of tufts. See, they're in tufts. So I'm looking at that. That's one tuft. And then it's a nice sort of very pointy bit there, quite a thin tuft, just give you that bit. And then we've got a lovely line coming across here. Like that. That's enough I think. We'll just we'll just leave it at that I think. And then this bit under here, this Although it's darker, it's it's a. I'm just going to put the colour in the same colours. Um, but I'm going to probably put a bit more orange on that, and a bit more cream. We've got a little. Under, under this bit here, there's a little tuft coming down, a light tuft. And then it kind of comes straight, a bit like that really. That's enough to give us a bit of a guide there. Then we've got a dark line that comes over here and above this little bit here. Need a bit of black on that. That's that. Just 
We're going to get this dark a bit, get the effect going. So, just getting a bit, very, it's a really, really light touch that, looking at that shape. That's going like that, that's that shape there. see that these lines are coming down and then out, out, out. If you look closely at this, this, this line is going straight up here. There's a darker bit just there. It is discernible. This is darker, and it's it's really dense. Can't really see much of what's going on there. You can't see direction of hair, anything in there. So you can go really black with that. You don't need to press hard. Just build it up very gently. Back in over here. Just keep the lines in that direction now because you can see a bit of something going on in there. And you can do blend it down with your finger. And then it's a little really intense red bit in here, so I'm going to make it redder in there. Well, think of it. That's red mixes nicely with the black actually to give a nice tusky look. Okay, we're going to do the little back line here now, which is still here, you can still see it. Just quite thin and then it kind of loops over, loops over just beyond there. And that's down. These are the kind of things that make it look really 3D, so don't be afraid to go really 
dark, where it's showing dark, do it dark, really, really dark. But don't press hard. You don't need to do that. Then we've got this dark mark there. Go straight down there. And it's kind of a bit lower. A bit lower there. And then when it comes out, just literally directly underneath it, see? And then it's coming in up here. Tiny little mark. these two bits up here and again very very dark in there it's a very dark line in there actually so it's kind of coming out it's dark basically smudge it over a bit so it darkens the whole area across. Then we've got these bits here. Got a lovely bit of shadow in here which is uh, another colour entirely. So we need to really keep that. And that's, that's probably darker than it really is but you don't want to go over there save that. So that's fine. Got the dark a bit there so we're getting nice. That's very very dark there. You don't want just a line there, you've got to blend this line out and fade it off so that it, it's looking like it's coming out again from his mouth. So his mouth is going really in, in. And that's that thin hair there. And then we've got another little black bit there. So we've already got hairs in there or wherever, wherever we want to really put them. you'll get a feel for it because you know we all love a little terrier puppy don't we and as soon as you start drawing them you get you the feel of the animal is just there we've all stroked a little dog like this surely and it's just something that really sticks sticks with you you know you, you can't forget um how lovely that was to you know strength that little creature and all that feeling will come across when you're drawing as well. Mm, nice. And I, this is why I like to draw animals so much. It's really, really is like spending time with the animal. It really is. Now I've got a bit more rich colour in here so we're gonna get some of this red on under there that's it just blend in that black leave that bit free there so we can get nice light hairs in then it is quite dark so I'm going to put some orange on there rather than the cream. Okay, let's have a little look at that, step back a bit. It's always good to stand back and really see how it's developing or not. Little bit of white paper, just 
going to cover that up because it's so dark, this bit here. It needs to be, it needs to be really, that's his mouth. It's a bit smoky looking, isn't it? So don't need to get too much detail in there. That's stronger. Little round mark there. Some of the hairs are going like that. Some are going across like that. Some are going through like that. Literally, just look at these hairs and where they're going. Put them in. There. Okay, that's all for now, I think, because we want to just put a bit more red in there. I think some darker, darker red over the back. That will blend nicely. And give it a nice depth there. So that when the light hairs go over it, they really look lovely and light. So, what I'm looking at here is, um, see there's a little point there, then that going up higher, that last next bit is going up here, then it's coming down again, just a little bit higher than that one. Those will make it look really natural. If you can get those kind of things in, they will give it a really natural look. Just going over the black here. I think this is black enough, I think. So we don't need to worry about, you know, you could even do a few red hairs actually over there. Right, just get some navy in this side. We'll keep that black. Although I can see a bit of duskiness here, this sort of colour reflecting somehow. Right, so, next bit, this is much brighter here. Again, I'm just looking at the direction of the hair. This. got kind of ready look to it. Little triangle again. And then we've got little nicks along here. See? And then that's that straight line there, which we've already put in. And we're going to get these really nice and um, blonde. We'll get our strawberry blonde colour. Together. So there's a little flex there, that needs to be darker, a bit darker. Yeah, make that a lot darker. Let's get this off. Let's see what we're doing here. So yeah, so that's that. going to be mixed with some black in there I think. I'll put some orange in it as well just to make it look a little less intensely red but there'll be some black in there as well. And the reason I'm doing these bits with red is that it'll make the, when we get the blonde colour on, it'll make it stand out so much better. It'll be really good. There's a darker bit in there, and that's going right through here. Just doing this bit here, and then underneath, we've got the black hairs coming there. Then we've got a nice sort of straight, straight line. There it is. But that's a bit high. It's going to come, come in a bit here, and then down. There's that little bit there. 
a nice patch of blonde here. Just going to get these colours in. Oh, lovely. Zoom in the straight, straight lines. That's that. Little bit there. Then that's coming out. That's it. These these light bits are going to be the strawberry blonde. We'll put the blonde on and we'll put some red. Uh, lines in after. That's going to be the best way to do that, I think. That's this bit here. This is really important, this bit, to get this right. This is his. Just look at the angle of that line there. What you can do is you can just put it in. Put it in and then you'll get it right. You try and do those things across. Um, it can go off. You can easily get rid of that line. We'll put some hairs over it and it'll just blend it in and then this is the same with this this needs to come like that and then down over here like that that's that dot that mark there we'll put that in So we're going to 